morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system, the human body, is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, It really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we want to hear from you. Try to call in early at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010, so we don't have to leave anybody on hold. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, formulations, ingredients, skin health issues, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number if you just want to contribute to the conversation or If you have a success story you'd like to share, we love hearing those. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, and you can order products right off the websites. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470, and ask them about about joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start yourself a little business, make some money, make a lot of money selling longevity products. Some folks are making thousands of dollars a month selling longevity products, which actually just sell themselves, just turn people on to the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. It's a rare person who's going to sip on the BTT and not want more of it. It basically just sells itself. For one time $25 fee, you can join the, the, the uh, Brightside Ben team, or you can just get your products at the wholesale price if you don't want to start a business. Call 866 735 2470. They can give you the scoop. If you want to purchase any of our skin health products, including our Truth Retinol 5% gel made with retinol 5%, yes, ma'am and sir, 5% retinol gel. You're not going to see that anywhere, nowhere. Plus, it's non, for most folks, non irritating, non inflaming. You can use it if you have sensitive skin. It will cause flaking. If you, uh, if you use the retinol 5% gel, you, would de- you will definitely get a nice little skin peel. It's great if you have a blemish or a pimple and you, wanna, you don't want it to come out. If you, get a, you, know, you start to see that blemish starting to form and you don't want it to pop up into a big zit, you put a little retinol, dab a little retinol 5% cream, it'll just flake right off. Likewise with, with uh, hyperpigmentation, dark spots, or any kind of blemishes. It's made with vitamin C, no preservative, no fragrance, no oil, no filler, no wax, no water, no nothing that your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. You only pay for ingredients your skin can use, and that's the way it should be. And that's why I call my products the truth. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right. So I want to tie up a few loose ends about phytic acid, and then we'll move on to a couple other topics. I want to start talking about supplements that you can use or you should use. If you're going ketogenic, we're still talking about the ketogenic diet, its importance for diabetes, its importance for weight loss, its importance for folks dealing with Alzheimer's disease or who don't want to be dealing with Alzheimer's disease or dementias. I can think of no better strategy than the ketogenic, low-carb, high-fat, moderate-protein diet for dealing with all of these issues, especially Alzheimer's disease and dementias, but also blood sugar issues and for folks who just want more performance, better performance for athletes. It's just an all-around good diet. I call the diet that we talk about on this program a lot the modified ketogenic diet because it's not strict ketogenic. Strict ketogenic is super mega high amounts of fats, like 90% fat or 80% fat. But even if you're just getting 50 or 60% of your calories from fat and then another maybe 20, 25% of your calories from protein and then maybe 5 or 10% or 15% of your calories from carbs, you're still going to get some ketogenic benefits. Not as much as, the, as a strict ketogenic diet, but you'll still get weight loss benefits, you'll still get brain health benefits, and you'll get blood sugar benefits as well just by eating more fat 
and less carbohydrates. Just that alone, more fat, less carbs. When we talk about carbs, when I say less carbs, I mean refined, processed carbs and grain carbs. Veggies are still important, and veggies are going to get you carbohydrates, absolutely. But veggies, veggie carbs are distinct from from grain carbs and refined carbs. So eat your veggies. That's why I call it a modified ketogenic diet because you're still, the way I look at it, you still need 15 or 20 percent of your calories coming from carbs, but they should be veggie, veggie, veggie carbs. Okay, so last show we talked about phytic acid's health benefits, and there are many health benefits associated with phytic acid, which is ironic because it's an anti-nutrient, supposedly, and, and it does have some anti-nutritional properties. And we'll talk about that here in a sec. Phytic acid fights cancer, it shrinks tumors, it's anti-fibrosis, it can be helpful for women dealing with fibrocystic breasts, it has anti-inflammatory benefits, it has antioxidant benefits, and keep in mind now, this is all benefits that you're going to be getting from a, a substance that is considered by a lot of dietitians to be anti-nutritional. That's ironic, and that goes to show you how things aren't always black and white in the world of nutrition. That's why I have a problem with good and bad, saying good cholesterol, bad cholesterol, good food, bad food. Things aren't always that cut and dry. Phytic acid has a dark side and it has a light side. The dark side and the light side are actually kind of they're related to the same properties. They, uh, the dark side is related to the fact that it chelates minerals, and the light side is a is a factor of of the uh, of phytic acid's ability to chelate minerals. So this this idea of trapping minerals, the phytic acid's ability to trap or chelate minerals, is what gives phytic acid its benefits and its anti nutrient reputation. Phytic acid is a storage form for phosphorus, as we said yesterday in the seeds. It hangs on to phosphorus. It, it's a chelating agent for phosphorus. In the same way it chelates phosphorus in a seed, keeping phosphorus dormant, keeping phosphorus from sparking life, that's what phosphorus does, it sparks life. The same way it chelates phosphorus, it will do the same thing for zinc and magnesium in your foods. That's where it gets its reputation uh, as an anti-nutrient. It's going to trap your zinc and trap your magnesium and trap your calcium out of your foods, and then you won't be able to get, you're not going to be able to get the nutritional benefit from them. That's why you don't want to do phytic acid necessarily with your mineral supplements. That's why if you're, uh, if you're doing, you're beyond tangy tangerine or you're beyond osteo FX or your colloidal minerals, you don't want to do them with flax seeds or with grains. You don't want to separate them out because the chelating property is going, to, is going to chelate the good minerals. On the other hand, the chelating property is also going to chelate heavy metals. And it's going to chelate uh, iron. Iron can be a very, iron can be a, a, that's another one of those nutrients that's a mixed bag. Iron obviously is a very, very important nutrient. It's an essential mighty 90 nutrient. But excessive amounts of iron are associated with all kinds of problems, including cancer. Iron oxidizes readily. It rusts readily. In fact, the quintessential example of rust is iron. Rust is oxidation. And phytic acid by chelating iron can prevent this stuff from oxidizing and wreaking havoc in the body. It'll chelate mercury. It'll chelate lead. It'll chelate, chelate cadmium. So it chelates things for better or for worse. It chelates calcium. That one, chelation of calcium accounts for a lot of benefits for phytic acid. We talked yesterday to a gentleman who had bone spurs. Periodically, we'll talk to folks who have bone spurs. Calcif that, that's a calcium deposit issue. Calcification of the heart is a major issue when it comes to heart disease. Calcification of the arteries and the blood vessels, that's a major issue when it comes to heart disease and death for that matter. Calcification of the kidneys, calcification of the joints, calcification of the soft tissues. Phytic acid prevents all of this from occurring. This supposedly bad anti-nutrient phytic acid has anti-calcification benefits. In the journal Biofactors, this was published in December 2008, phytate prevents tissue calcification in rats. From the journal Frontiers in Bioscience, May 2008, phytate reduces age-related cardiovascular calcification. From the journal Anti-Cancer Research, December 1999, phytate is a powerful agent for preventing calcification in bio biological fluids useful in kidney stone treatment. Yes, phytic acid is useful for kidney stones. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. All right, we're back on The Bright Side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday. 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive, archive pages, benfuchsarchives.com, 
as well as brightsideben.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting up benfuchsarchives.com, which is kind of like a one-stop shop for all my different websites. I got a whole bunch of websites, True Skin Health website and Brightside Ben and Pharmacist Ben and and criticalhealthnews.com. Peter in the UK set up a one one-stop shop website with all the with all the various sites put together and you can search uh, an archive page, you can search the archive at at uh, benfuchsarchives.com, also brightsideben.com. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can go to pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 and ask them about joining the team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business or just get your products at the wholesale price if you so desire. And don't forget to check out my skin health page, Truth Skin, uh, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. I blog on there regularly, and also my Facebook page, The Truth with Ben. I blog on there regularly as well. And uh, let's see what else I could tell you. I think that's it. 844-236-6010 is our number. We do have lines open for you. Now's the time to get on board. We'll get your calls here at the bottom of the hour. So, phytic acid for uh, fighting cancer, phytic acid as a as a chelator of the bad minerals, especially calcium, calcification of the tissues is one of the ways that we die, one of the ways we get sick. Calcification of the heart, calcification of the very soft tissues in the body, and phytic acid is anti-calcification. Phytic acid is also protective against the sun. How do you like that? Phytic acid applied topically to the skin reduced tumor incidence after mice were exposed to UV, UVB, UVB radiation which ordinarily will cause skin cancer, well, phytic acid applied topically to the skin actually reduced the formation of tumors. That's according to an article from the journal Complementary Medicine, published in February of 2011. How interesting. This is phytic acid, folks. Phytates, the stuff that's supposed to be so darn problematic in anti-health. And speaking of cancer, this is really where phytic acid shines as a nutritional supplement or as a nutritional, I don't want to say supplement, but as a nutritional element. Of all the health benefits of the phytates, preventing kidney stones, stabilizing blood sugar, uh, keeping the heart and the circulatory system sta- uh, from calcifying, protecting against heart disease, it's the anti-cancer properties that are really, to me, they're the most exciting properties of phytic acid. There is a huge, huge, as Donald Trump would say, huge body of evidence that shows that phytic acid can protect us against estrogenic cancers, against colon cancer, against prostate cancer, against breast cancer, against uh, reproductive cancers in women, also against leukemia, particularly against cancers of the colon. Colon cancer is a third leading cause of cancer deaths around the world. Major, major problem, and the rates of colon cancer are increasing dramatically. Phytic acid protects against colon cancer. Phytic acid is an antioxidant. So it has, has all these various ways that it protects us against cancer by chelating iron. Iron can trigger cancers by acting as an antioxidant, by boosting the immune system. If you're thinking that, that these are benefits that were, would be helpful for, for anyone dealing with an illness, a degenerative illness of any kind, you are right. Even healthy people benefit from phytic acid. But if you're dealing with cancer, Phytic acid and phytates can be super, super helpful to prevent cancer or to reduce, uh, to, uh, reduce tumor sizes if you already have cancer. And on top of all that, they'll also improve detoxification. They, they can help detoxify the body, pre- preventing cancer from forming in the first place. They stabilize the chaotic, wild growth of cancer cells. They make cancer cells grow in a more normal way. They cut off the blood supply to cancer cells. That's called anti-angiogenesis. Angiogenesis is the way that blood cancer cells will develop their own blood supply. It's one of the, one of the neat, interesting mechanisms that cancer cells have for, for proliferating. They'll actually develop their own blood supply. They'll, they'll stimulate the body. This is pretty amazing. They'll stimulate the body to, to, uh, to create blood supply to feed the cancer. That's called angiogenesis. Well, phytates block that from happening. They're anti-angiogenic. When we eat seeds, when we eat grains, when we eat flax, when we eat fiber that has ph- uh, phytates in it, the phytates are quickly absorbed through the intestine. They go right into the blood, and then they go into the cancer cells. This is how they slow down the growth of cancer cells, particularly prostate cancers and estrogenic cancers and colon cancers, also melanoma, also pancreatic cancer. And because they're just food-based, basically, they're completely non-toxic. 
so they'll, they'll have their chemotherapy effects without having the toxicity that ordinary chemotherapy has because they're just natural food-based elements. They're also antioxidants. That's another important mechanism for the health benefits of phytic acid. Bacteria have an ability to, to break up phytic acid. This is why animals can eat grains, ruminants especially, cows and goats and giraffes and sheep. They can eat phytic acid no problem because bacteria in their gut can actually destroy phytic acid or at least break it up and release the phosphorus. Well, it turns out that we have the same bacteria in our gut. It turns out that our gut bacteria have the enzymes necessary to release the uh, phosphorus from the phytic acid and also the other component of phytic acid, which is a super interesting, fascinating sugar-like molecule, a B vitamin technically, they're called a B vitamin, called inositol. Nosti we, we haven't really talked about this one. I think we will. Uh, we're going to talk about lecithin a little bit here later on, maybe, t uh, maybe later on today or tomorrow. Well, inositol is a component of lecithin, and inositol is really important stuff, and that's what phytic acid is. Phytic acid is, ph is phosphorus and this stuff called inositol, both of which have nutritional value. And when we eat our phytic acid from our flaxseed fiber or our grains, or seeds, or nuts, or legumes, wherever we're getting our, our phytic acid, it goes into our digestive system. And if we're healthy, if we're healthy, if our digestive tract is healthy, if we've been taking our ultimate, our bioluminal nightly essence, or our ultimate nightly essence, as it's now called, if we've been eating our fermented foods, if we've been eating our fiber, the probiotics that live in the gut will be healthy enough to break up that phytic acid, release the phosphorus, release the inositol. It's like having a nutritional supplement. Phytic acid goes from being an anti-nutrient to a nutritional supplement via healthy digestion. That is a healthy gut, healthy microbiome. Now, phosphorus isn't one of those minerals that you really have to worry about because it's found everywhere. These days, it's used as a food additive. It's, it's part of soda pop. It's in, it's in all chicken, pretty much, because it has a softening effect. Uh, uh, chicken slaughterhouses will stick phosphates in, it, it, literally inject it right in the chicken to keep the chicken meat soft. Phosphorus is still important. It's one of the chenops elements, the six elements that make up most of the human body, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. The chenops elements, 99.5 or 0.6% of us is made up of these, just these six elements, one of which is phosphorus, the sparking agent. Phosphorus is the electrifying agent. As we said yesterday, it combines with oxygen and carbon to electrify the body. These three components, carbon, oxygen, and phosphorus, are come together to form something called phospholipids. Phospholipids, there's various different ones, and they're actually, phospholipids are super important in and of themselves. Phospholipids, which are just carbon, oxygen, and, and, uh, and phosphorus, electrify things. Phospholip this makes phospholipids super, super important for the electrification of the body. And when you think electrification, think brain and heart, and phospholipids and phosphorus are critically important for these, uh, these, these components of the body. And that's where phospholipid supplements come in. I'll talk about that when we come back from our break. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. All right, we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. We do have lines open for you. If you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get to you in just a sec here. Got a couple things I want to talk about. We'll continue talking about, uh, well, tomorrow we'll just we'll finish up. One more thing I want to tell you about phytic acid. If you do want to reduce phytic acid levels or reduce phytates and to eat your grains, there's a couple strategies you can use and we'll talk about that tomorrow. That'll be the last thing I say about phytates and phytic acid. And then I want to move on to these phospholipids, which are the absolute most incredible nutritional supplement for brain health. Uh, well, not the most, but one of the most incredible nutritional supplements for folks dealing with dementia and Alzheimer's disease, among other things. And that's because of the very interesting relationship of phosphorus to lipids. Lipids meaning fats, phospholipids. And there's a very interesting relationship between these two elements that make phospholipids incredibly, incredibly valuable. And bonus, phospholipids are super cheap. They're found in lots of different foods. And if you want to buy phospholipids as nutritional supplements, they're super cheap too. And we'll talk about that tomorrow on the bright side. All right. Let's see. 844-236-6010 is our number. One of my all-time favorite scientific journals is something called Science News, 
And this is, uh, it's not really a, it's not necessarily, there's a lot of scientific stuff in there, but it's real easy to understand, real easy to read. So if you're like a, a science geek, but you don't want to read the super hardcore journals, and there's a lot of super hardcore journals that have lots of good information on them, and we talk about them on this program a lot. But if you want just good scientific information that's not dumbed down but still very easy to read, you might want to check out Science News, uh, also New Scientist, Those are, and also Scientific American. That one's, that one's good, too. Scientific American, New Scientist, and Science News. These are three awesome science journals. Science News in particular is good because they always have good nutritional stuff, uh, nutritional stories. In Science News, this uh, last week's edition on the cover, the beauty of fat. Fat just may be the ultimate body repair kit. Adipose tissue, fatty tissue, is a natural storehouse of healing cells. Fat is a fixer. Fat is a gland. Fat secretes hormones. There's such an unbelievably dangerous misunderstanding about fat. And this is where the ketogenic diet comes in. Dr. Wallach's been talking about this for decades, and I've been talking about it as well. Fat is so important, but we've got to understand how to utilize it correctly. That's where eating fat is important, good fat, and that's also where phospholipids play a very, very important role. Phospholipids have an ability to help the body process and utilize fats, and we will be talking about that in the coming days on the Bright Side. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Texas and welcome Tabitha to the Bright Side. What's up, Tabitha? Good morning. Hey, good morning. What's up? What's going on? Where are you in Texas? I'm in Central Texas, in Colleen, Texas. Colleen? Colleen. Is that, one, is that a little Texas town in the middle of nowhere? Well, uh, kind of, you know, kind of tucked in there. Tucked in there. Where, where is it near? Is it near Austin? Yes, about 45 okay. minutes from Austin. All right, good deal. What's going on? How can we help you, Tabitha? So, yes, um, excessive uh, dry skin. Uh, okay. I have other issues, but I've been listening to what you've been uh, talking about, so I know what I need to do about these other issues. Well, like, um, tell me some of your other issues, just briefly, okay, real quick. So, uh, real quick, uh, last week I um, I woke up, my leg was stuck in one position. Oh, and no. I couldn't move. Yes, it was, it was pretty wild. And yes. I, like a um, cramp? Was it like a crampy thing? No, where you no, could... no, it wasn't a cramp. It was like, you know, I tried to uh, put pressure in a walk, and it felt like my, my leg was, my knee area was going to break. So, wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's not good. How old are no. you, Tabitha? You sound like a kid. I'm 36. <laughs> You're no, laughing. 36. How old are you, 36? Yes. I hate to break it to you, but you are a kid. So keep well, that in mind. And by the way, you you know, you're only young once, but you could be immature forever. So don't worry about it. 36 is, is true. Right? Stay immature. I'm, I'm mm. going to be immature till I die. 36 is very young, <laughs> and it's too young to have these kinds of problems. What else is going on? Uh, burping. I've been burping a lot lately. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, just excessive skin and a uh, dry skin. Okay, and, so you tell uh, me what you tell me how you treat like what what did you come up with by listening to the program? Okay. Tell me some. what I, okay, what I came up with is I'm definitely not taking in enough protein. Okay, right. How did and, you come up with that? How did you come to that conclusion? What well, made you? What made you? I mean, admit, I'm not saying yay or nay. It's very possible most people yeah. don't get enough protein. But how, tell me how you came up to that conclusion. Well, how you I, reached I that conclusion? I just find out about you. Like I didn't even know you existed until like last week. And I fell upon a um, a channel on YouTube, and I started listening. And so so you've only been listening for a help. week. You've only been listening for a week. Yes. Okay. Well, you got lots of archives to get to. There's lots of good health information. Oh, you yeah. probably do. Absolutely. You probably do need more protein because most of us need more protein. And even if we're eating protein containing foods, cooking tends to devalue the uh, or denature protein value or, or diminish protein value. So most of us are, are deficient in protein. But cramping and, and it sounds like a cramp. I know you said it's not, but it sounds like a cramp. And burping tell me that you're not processing things correctly. You're not processing foods and nutrient. You're not breaking down your foods correctly. And you're not getting the value of the nutrients. Nutrients. So I would be directing my attention towards the digestive system. You may know this with uh, good bacteria, first of all. That's one of the major ways you deal with burping issues is by restoring gut bacteria. Are you on a probiotic supplement? No, I'm not. I was before, and I just didn't. Tabitha, what's up? I know. What are you doing? I know. I, Get I'm, back I'm on it. I'm teasing you. I'm, pl I'm playing <laughs> no, with you. I'm, no, I, I'm with you. 
get on the ultimate uh, nightly essence. Three in the morning, three in the afternoon, three at night. Start off with nine a day and then back down to six a day. You get that off my website, criticalhealthnews.com, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. Make sure you're eating fermented foods, too. You like, you like miso, tempeh, uh, sauerkraut, kimchi. Or you can make your own or, or buy it at the health food store. Eat it liberally. That may, that may make all the difference in the world with both your cramping and, and I'm sorry. You say it's not cramping. It sounds to me like a cramp. But it'll make all the difference in the world with your burping issues. And now the dry skin, that is linked as well because the digestive system needs to absorb fats for your skin to stay soft and moist. So many of us, and I've been in, you, you don't know this, Tabitha, so I'll, you know, I'll just tell you, most of our listeners know this. I've been in the skincare business as a formulator for 32 years. I've been formulating pharma, uh, products in my compounding pharmacy as well as over-the-counter products, and I've been studying the skin for 32 years. And one of the biggest misunderstandings we have about the skin and this is exploited and taken, people take advantage of us for our, because of the, this misunderstanding, is dry skin is not a skin issue. It's a fat issue. Burping is also a fat issue. Very likely your cramping is related to fat malabsorption or problems absor- uh, utilizing fats as well. This is where you want to be focusing your attention. Probiotics will help and fermented foods will help. Make sure you're using digestive enzymes, the ultimate enzymes with all of your meals. Okay, and make sure you're swigging down some apple cider vinegar with yeah. your ultimate enzymes, especially fatty meals. Make sure you're taking fatty, uh, fatty nutrients, particularly essential fatty acids like the ultimate EFAs and vitamin A. Vitamin A is a woman's best friend for a lot of reasons. Number one, for the skin. It's anti-wrinkle. It helps build bone. It's very important for the female reproductive system. But if you're not absorbing fat, uh, your fats, you're not going to be absorbing vitamin A. So it's critical that with your digestive enzymes, and with your apple cider vinegar, that you're taking 20,000 international units of vitamin A. If you, there's many more things, Tabitha, but if you just did that, that's going to go a long way towards handling all three of those issues. But there's a couple more things I want to tell you, so don't go away. All right, Tabitha? All right. And then if you're on hold, hang on as well. We'll get to you when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll take a quick break and come back with more good health information right after this. Don't go away. back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Tabitha in Texas. Got lines open for you, by the way. 844-236-6010 is our number. Tabitha, focus yes, on sir. fat absorption. A couple of things that you want to do. Uh, digest- and before we went to break, I was telling you this. Digestive enzymes with your meals. Apple cider vinegar with your meals. Make sure you're taking extra fats, EFAs, essential fatty acids. I like the ultimate EFAs uh, from longevity, as well as vitamin A, which is super important for skin health. A couple of things that you might want to do that'll that'll uh, amp up your body's ability to process fats is one is called lecithin, which you probably have heard of. Lecithin granules, I like. You can get capsules too, but I like the granules are a little more uh, cost effective, uh, and they're they're pretty cheap. The capsules are cheap too, uh, and maybe a quarter teaspoonful of the granules in water with your meals. That should make a huge difference okay. in the burping and also a difference in the skin. But please don't regard your skin issues as topical. They're not necessarily topical. This is a myth, and it's one that we are uh, we get taken advantage of because of this much misunderstanding. When we think we have dry skin, we think we have a skin problem. You got a fat problem, and that's linked to the to the leg issues you were explaining as well as the burping. You got a fat issue. More fat is is the recipe as well as fat uh, absorbing nutrients for uh, for helping improve the skin condition as well as the burping and also the leg issues. A couple other things that you might want to consider. There's a B vitamin substance like uh, B vitamin like substance called choline, C H O L I N E, that's helpful for fat malabsorption or improving fat absorption. And then there's another uh, neat supplement which is going to be part of your ultimate enzymes that's called bile salts, B I L E bile salts, and that will also upregulate or improve your body's ability to process fats. And don't forget those probiotics, good bacteria, as well as fermented foods. And then if you want to do one last thing, make sure you're increasing your fiber content. Uh, your, the content of your diet, fiber content of your diet. I like uh, veggie juices or ground up flax seeds. Those are two ways to get more fiber. And veggie juices will give you the benefit of all the wonderful nutrients from veggies. Of course, flax seed, ground up flax seeds will give you all the benefits, the fatty nutrients that can be helpful for your skin. So lots of good ideas there for you oh. if you get going on that Tabitha. And check out our archives. We spent a lot of time talking about fats for the last couple of, uh, probably will. the last month or so. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Um, Real quick, yeah, I just did a research on bone spur and all the symptoms that I felt uh, that Bones. happened. Uh, yeah. yeah. 
It's yeah, that it could be. Calcium, calcium yeah. that could very well be. Calcium and fats go together. Now, you, probably, you may not have known this, and most people don't know this, unless they listen to this program, because we talk about it all the time. Calcium and fats go together. If you're not absorbing your fats, you're not going to absorb your calcium as effectively yeah. because of the relationship of bile. And that means calcium yeah. will build up in the joints. Now, you can use the flax seeds to help attract or chelate the calcium out of the blood, and that will help the bone spurs, but I still would be more concerned if I were you about fat malabsorption. Absorption. At the age okay. of 36, these should not be happening, sweetheart. This, not, this stuff shouldn't be happening to you. No, no. That's, that's accelerated aging. So get going and keep listening to the program. You get lots more I good guess. health information. Thanks, Tabitha. Have a beautiful day. Thank you so much. You too. All right. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Paul in Tennessee. What's going on, man? Yes, I was wondering about the, the hemp oil. You talked about the phytic acid. How do you, how do you spell that? Phytic acid? Yes, the phytic. Phytic acid, P-H-Y-T-I-C, phytic acid, A-C-I-D. And then sometimes people will call it phytate, which is slightly different, P-H-Y-T-A-T-E, phytate. Uh, but they're, they're kind of used, those are interchangeable terms, phytic acid, P-H-Y-T-I-C, phytic, and then acid, and then a phytate, P-H-Y-T-A-T-E, phytate. Now, hemp oil is all, hemp oil is awesome stuff. Uh, you asked about hemp. You mentioned hemp oil. What were we going to ask about it, or did you just want to mention it? Is, uh, is there any vitamin acid in the no. hemp oil? I thought There's, you were saying the vitamin. No, hemp, uh, phytic acid is found in seeds and grains and legumes. Now, the hemp seed itself, that will contain phytic acid, but there's not necessarily going to be phytic acid in the oil. The, the phytic acid is kind of a, a, a solid material. It doesn't really dissolve very well. And so it's not going to be in the oil, but it will be in the seeds. Now, if you're going to grind up your seeds and you want to get the benefit of seeds, and we talked about flax seeds a couple days ago, hemp seeds are amazing. for health. Hemp seeds, chia seeds, flax seeds, these are three amazing nutritional uh, sources of, of nutrition. You will get the phytic acid in there for better or for worse. Now, you know, we've been spending a lot of time talking about the benefits of the phytic acid that you'll get. Uh, tomorrow we'll talk about how you can get rid of phytic acid if you really want to do that. There are some strategies for doing that. And if you're going to eat a lot of seeds, you know, you may want to maybe neutralize or remove some of the phytic acid. But really the best way, in my opinion, I, I, think, I personally think it's much ado about nothing, this whole problem with anti-nutrition and phytic acid. Yeah, you're going to lose some mineral value, you know, if you eat your seeds straight or if you, if you um, take your nutritional supplements with phytic acid. But it really isn't all that significant. Uh, there, and, the, and the benefits for the phytic acid may outweigh the, the anti-nutrient effects. But if you did want to get rid of the phytic acid, there are some ways that you can do that, and we'll talk about that tomorrow. Now, hemp oil, that stuff rocks. Are, do you have a source for hemp, hemp seed oil, Paul? Yes. yes. Where, do you get, where do you get it? I get it at the Whole Foods Market. It's like an organic uh, hemp oil. Okay. I can okay. get a lot of different things on my skin. And I just, yeah. Just, oh, Good I just for you. a lot better. Good for you. That's awesome. Yeah, you know, I remember when I first started hearing about hemp seed oil, maybe 30, about 25 years ago or so, uh, when, it started to, when people started to become aware of the power of hemp seed oil, it was almost impossible to find the stuff because the government was regulating it. The government felt like you, people would be getting high off of it somehow, you know, just to show you how stupid the, well, anyway. Uh, so, so now. They are uh, stupid. They are yeah, stupid. Yeah, I know. I don't want to get into the stupid, to politics too much, but man, there are some stupid people in the government and in the FDA in particular. I don't know if it's stupid as well as even, you know, cannabinoids are now being, you, there's a stuff called CBD. Are you familiar with this stuff called CBD, which is a medicine that comes from the marijuana plant and the, and the hemp plant? And it is an awesome medicine for seizure disorders, for pain, and, and uh, for, uh, particularly for pain, but also for anti-cancer. Uh, and now, now the FDA wants to control CBD oil, which comes from this, lead, this, this humble little plant, the hemp plant or the marijuana plant. Why? Because the drug companies have now caught on to how powerful CBD is, and now the drug companies want to benefit from them. So pretty soon you're not even going to be able to get your CBD. And this is, this is how our government works, and this is how the FDA works. And I don't want to get off on a tangent because I hate being that guy who rips on the government and the FDA, but it sure, it, they sure make it easy to rip on them. So if you, if you like oh, your CBD, <laughs> you don't mind? All right. Well, in any case, if, you, if you're on CBD, anybody out there, and you're, you're interested in checking it out, you better buy it up now because pretty soon you're not going to be able to have your CBD. And that's too bad because it's one of the most effective 
anti-seizure medicines and anti-cancer and anti-pain medicines you'll ever use. It's relatively inexpensive. You don't get high from it. You can't get intoxicated from it, but you sh it sure does have some wonderful benefits. So they're so significant that the drug companies are now getting involved, and that's why pretty soon you're not going to be able to get your CBD without a prescription, unfortunately. All right, Paul, anything else going on, man? Uh, yeah, I, I was, well, that's the reason why they want to do away with it, because they want to practice on you. They want to fix or treat you and feed you the pharmaceutical. That's the reason why they want to do it. That's how it is, man. That's how it is. And, there, and by the way, Democrat and Republican, it doesn't matter. You know, you go out and vote, you think it's going to make a difference. It ain't going to make a difference in, in government, government tyranny and the hegemony over our lives, especially when it comes to our health. And that's really where it becomes egregious, the way I look at it, is when they want to modify and control our health, when they want everybody to be on their prescription medicine, when there's all these wonderful alternatives. That's where I get really ticked off. All right, Paul, I'll yeah, let you I, go, man. Yeah. Anything, do you I want to say anything else? Yeah, so I got like a uh, an issue, a skin issue behind my ear. It's like it itches and it's, yeah. uh, uh, get that. Keep doing. That sounds like eczema, or it could be a, just a simple deficiency in fats, but eczema is related to that. Get yourself, in addition to the hemp seed oil, make sure you're taking your ultimate EFAs. And when you're doing your hemp seed oil and your ultimate EFAs, do it with some food. Maybe do it with some lecithin. And keep listening. Tomorrow and the next day we'll talk about lecithin, how important that is. Uh, lecithin, uh, also with some food and your ultimate enzymes. You may also want to get bile salts. Remember, in the world of nutrition, as good as the hemp seed oil is and as important as nutritional supplements are, are, and as important as good foods are, it's not what we eat, it's what we absorb. It's not what we take in, it's what we assimilate, what gets in through the digestive tract. So if you're still dealing with skin issues and you're on your hemp seed oil and your ultimate EFAs and your vitamin A and your vitamin E perhaps, make sure you're using your, uh, your digestive enzymes, your ultimate enzymes, bile salts, lecithin, apple cider vinegar, choline, uh, anything else you can think of to improve, uh, improve the absorption of fats. All right, Paul, that's the end of the show. I apologize. Have a beautiful day, man. Thanks for calling okay. from Tennessee. All right. Okay, tomorrow we will continue talking about uh, phospholipids, and we'll talk lecithin, which is nature's finest phospholipid. And then I just want to finish up on phytic acid, and we'll talk about how you can get rid of phytic acid if you're so interested, if you, uh, if you so desire. Uh, as good as phytic acid is, as important as it is as a health tool. Check out my website, truthtreatments.com, and please check out our Retinol 5% Gel or our other Truth products, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. If you're interested in joining the Brightside Ben team, check out criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com or call 866-735-2470. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have an awesome, spectacular, beautiful, wonderful day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.